Right there, YouTube is Crackoon again, bringing you another gameplay. <sighs> Comment saying, man, we're here again, bring you some more Black Ops. Uh, I'm going to be using the Spaz 12 with a suppressor, with the CZ 75 with a suppressor as well. I'm running a Tomahawk with some concussion grenades and a portable jammer. I'm running a Perk Setup Hardline Pro, Sight of Am Pro, Marathon Pro. That's about it. Boom, getting on with it, doing like I do. As you can tell from the title, in fact, what else what did it do with boom? Boom! Getting on with it, doing like we do, man. As you can tell from the title, 12 bait title, Black Ops 2 sucks. Or Black Ops 2 is a piece of shit. Something like that in the title. But I don't know, it's just kind of like a troll bait title, you know, whatever. But uh, what I'm really just going to be talking about, talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 2. My personal opinions about it. I haven't done a commentary about this. I think that, you know, I don't want to jump on the bandwagon. People are doing fucking Black Ops 2 commentaries left, right and centre. You know, I don't really give a shit about that. I mean, you know, games, cons, over now. I think it's over. I don't really know if it's not over. I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. You know, the hype's kind of died down a little bit. I mean, people are still banging on about Black Ops all the fucking time. It's kind of annoying, but maybe that's the reason behind me doing this commentary now rather than like later on whatever i'm getting on with it doing how i do man the gameplay is going on in the background right i've got points i've got points i don't like to pass judgment on gameplays or games uh, uh, no i don't like to pass judgment upon gameplays of games right and this breaks down into a pretty interesting way because the same shit happened last year right with modern warfare 3 and cod xp and the same shit's gone down this year with gamescon and black ops 2 right Last year, COD XP, Modern Warfare 3 was getting showed off, tra -la 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 etc. We learned a lot of things from COD XP, I mean, a lot of news came out of it. You know, the same things happened this year, right? What happened last year at COD XP, though, was a different scenario, because I was looking at Modern Warfare 3 personally, watching gameplays, all this kind of shit, and I was noticing things. I was looking at it and thinking, right, this doesn't look similar to Modern Warfare 2 which was expected because different parties were involved within the development so you can't expect the game to be similar to Modern Warfare 2 that's expected scratch that last year moving on to this year looking at Black Ops Black Ops 2 whatever you want to say like that the game looks exactly the same it's obvious you know Treyarch is pretty much exactly the same development team I mean, it's not like what's happened with Infinity Ward and how Sledgehammer came in and all this kind of shit. No, it's not like that. It's like exactly the same development team. Everybody on that development team's got the same input as what they did in Black Ops and stuff like that. So, right. What I've seen so far about Black Ops 2, it looks like they've taken a lot of bullshit out of the game. No noob tubes, you know, no death streaks. On top of that, though, it looks like they've tailored the game around an MLG perspective. And I don't know why they've tailored it around MLG. Seems kind of stupid to me. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, seriously, Black Ops 2 looks more like a Blacklight Retribution MLG Call of Duty ripoff. I said it. I don't care. I was watching a Blacklight Retribution stream. I can't remember when. I think it was a couple of days ago now. But I just wanted to see because I had a theory behind it about how... The games are set in the future, a kind of like, uh, present future, you know, some shit like that. Upcoming future, you know, whatever. I don't know, man. The game looks really similar. Really, really similar with, like, the sound effects of the guns and everything, man. Seriously, there was, like, this one gun, I can't remember what it was, but it sounded exactly the same, right? I don't know. Black Ops 2, man. Black... I really do, I really do hope the game is good. I really do hope all this bullshit taken out of the game is going to make the game better. What I'm not liking about it though is the same factors in what I've just said. It is the same development team. It is the same development team. This shit went down within Black Ops, man. They put Ghost as a first tier perk overpowered into Black Ops. This is what this development team did. And everybody's getting hyped about Black Ops 2. Thinking that some strange shit like this isn't undercover and already happen happening again. You know what I'm saying like that? They don't know if there's another FAMAS put in the game. Because they might not have had it playable at Gamescon. You know what I'm saying like that? All these kind of factors are attributing, right? 
But let me lay it down to you. This is the one simple fact. What this this nugget of information, the total kind of compilation of what I've collected from Gamescom, right? Everybody's seen the wave band reticle in which it's a red dot sight and you're able to see around corners, right? It's an ugly as fuck red dot sight. I mean, it's like a proper rectangled square and then it's got like, you know, kind of like a target. It's weird, whatever, it's beyond the point. You can see round corners with it. I think Treyarch has put that into the game as to help rushers be anti-camping. You know what I'm saying like that? So now rushers can look into rooms, into buildings, see through walls within a relative distance only of like the relative space of the red dot site itself and now they can see into walls and rooms and corners and shit like that to see if people are camping there this is Treyarch's logic of anti-camping what they don't realize is that red dot site is ugly as fuck like I said it's ugly as fuck I would never use that you know who would use that? a camper a camper who's sitting in a corner. A camper who's sitting in a corner, watching a doorway, being able to see through the walls around the doorway, knowing when any rusher is going to try and come in the room to kill him. The adding anti-camping aspects to the game, which are going to be used most by the campers themselves. Right? Think about that logic. Think about it. I'm done. I'm done. Peace. I'm done. Think about it. Think about it.